In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Mocha inside of Adobe After Effects to track and color grade specific parts of your footage. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a video on your timeline, as you can see, I've got this shot. It was filmed on my phone, so it's nothing special and it's just me moving towards this clock. Now we're going to create a mask around this clock and then we're going to add some color correction to this later on to make this stand out. So obviously normally we would go up into the ellipse tool, we'd create a mask and then we'd have to track that into the scene. But there is an easier way to do this. So we'll go into effects and presets and we're going to go into Boris effects mocha and drag mocha AE on to your footage. Now Mocha comes with After Effects by default. Whenever you purchase After Effects, Mocha will come with the program. So make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of After Effects to ensure that you do have Mocha on your After Effects. But with that saying, once you've got to this point, we can go into this menu by selecting the Mocha button. You can go ahead and press continue on this warning and then just press close here. Now this has launched up this really complicated looking window and there's loads of different things you can do here, but we're just going to begin by creating a mask around this. Now, if you were creating a mask around an object which wasn't circular, you could just go to this pen tool and you can create these different points around your specific objects. So if I was doing this around the light switch, for example, I would just create a point on each corner of that light switch like so. Of course though, we're not doing that. We're working with this clock and the clock is circle. So if we did this point, then it's going to be really messy and it's not going to be a perfect circle. So instead we can go over to this circle selection tool and we can just draw a circle around our clock. And of course, as you can see, I've overlapped the top. So you can just pull this down to make sure that it sits perfectly with the edge of the clock. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead and select this forward facing triangle that's going to track forwards. So it's going to take a second and then all of a sudden you'll notice that that tracking point, that mask is now following the clock. So you just want to go ahead and leave your laptop or your computer running for a few minutes, a few seconds, depending on how long this takes and just make sure that this mask is following the thing that you want to track. So once that has now completed, you can just scrub through and you'll notice that this mask is now following the clock for the entire duration of the clip. Even though I'm moving towards the clock, I'm moving forwards in space, the mask is still perfectly following along. So from here, we need to get this tracking data into After Effects. So we'll just press this button here to save this. So we'll save, we'll exit this window, and then that tracking data should be in After Effects. So from here, we'll just select the drop down arrow in matte. We're going down to create AE masks, and that is going to create a mask using that tracking data on the clock. So that is just the clock on its own. Of course, though, we do want the background and the elements around the clock. So we're just going to make a copy of that layer. We'll go Command C, Command V. We'll go to the layer on the bottom. We'll delete Mocha from that bottom layer, and then we'll also delete the mask. So we've got a layer, which is just the background and everything. And then the layer on top is the isolated layer that we just created in Mocha. So in order to color grade this selection here, you just want to go into effects and presets. We'll go into color correction. And of course, in color correction, you've got all of these different amazing plugins. But just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll drop curves on to this layer. And as you'll see, if I increase the brightness and then increase the brightness on the red, you can see that red is only affecting this clock. Now, of course, this mask currently does have a hard edge. So if you wanted to create a softer edge, then all you have to do is go into that top layer, select the drop down arrow, go into masks, layer four, you've got your mask path keyframes here. Under that, you've got mask feather and you can just increase that mask feathering. And that's going to create this soft focus effect around that area. Of course, if you wanted to decrease the mask expansion, so you wanted to decrease the size of that, you can just pull down the mask expansion. Or if you wanted to increase, then you just increase that and that is going to follow that mask. But there you go, that is the basics of how you can use Mocha with Adobe After Effects to track specific parts of your scene, create a mask around that tracked object, and then color grade that specific object. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your support, and I will see you on the next video. See you there.